morning, and welcome to Prayers for Your Day. This is Danita, and today is Tuesday, November the 23rd, 2021. As always, I give thanks to God for you, for what he is doing in your life and in the lives of your loved ones, the people, places, and things that God has divinely connected you to for such a time as this. On yesterday, you know that we prayed according to Second Kings chapter 3, and we're going to stay right there. We talked about the harp, and we talked about, you know, what happens when you allow God to speak to you. Often, um, we just go into prayer, and we get up and we walk away. We've laid, our, we've laid down our requests. We've casted our cares upon him because we know he cares for us. And then we just walk away. Here we see where Elisha set the atmosphere. He evoked the presence of the Lord. And he was able to hear what God had to say regarding the situation. So we're going to continue to be reading right there. We're going to continue to read right there. Uh, And I'm going to pick up where it's, uh, I think I read 16, where he said, This is what the Lord says, I will fill this valley with pools of water. Then verse 17, he says, For this is what the Lord says. So it's a continuation. You will see neither wind nor rain, yet this valley will be filled with water. And you, your cattle, and your other animals will drink. This is an easy thing in the eyes of the Lord. He will also deliver Moab into your hands. So what I want to tell you is what we've been praying about all year, what we've prayed about is that it's not only for us. It's not only for us. So when you understand that, you know, the blessings are not only for you, but you are setting up, you know, generations of of uh, of success for your family, spiritual success, financial success. Then you know that goes both ways, right? A lot of times we don't want to deal with the both ways. We want to. Well, this is for my family. I'm setting this up for my family. This legacy for my family. But it goes both ways. You can set up a legacy of spiritual breakthrough, or you can set up a le- legacy of generational curses. Uh, and dismay. But I thank God that because we know better, we can do better. The Bible says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. We know better. We know it's twofold. We know that if we can do it the bad way, we can do it the good way. And so when the Bible says that you're not even going to, you're not even going to see it coming, what God is getting ready to do, hallelujah, in your life, You are not even going to see it coming. You are not even going to see it coming. Yet this valley, this low place that you've been in, whatever that low place is, it is going to be filled with water. It is going to be filled with water. And you, the blessing of the Lord is for you. The blessing of the Lord is for your cattle. The blessing of the Lord is for other animals, meaning it's for you. It's for your family. It's for the people connected to you. We got to know that this is an easy thing in the eyes of the Lord. See, the enemy makes it look hard. The enemy makes it look like you're defeated. The enemy makes it look like you're not going to win. Hallelujah. The enemy makes it look like you might as well just give up. You gonna you gonna die in the drought. Your family's gonna die in the drought. People connected to you's gonna die in the drought. But the enemy is a liar. He is the father of all lies. Hallelujah. And I'm here to tell you on this Thanksgiving week, let God's word be true, and every man be a liar. Everybody that told you you're gonna have to stay there. Everybody that told you to give up. Everybody that told you to walk away. Every Everybody told you that it's not going to work. Everybody told you, everybody that told you that you're not good enough. The devil is a liar. Let God's word be truth and every man be a liar. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we thank you for today, oh God, for every day is a day of thanksgiving. Father God, we praise your holy name, hallelujah. 
hallelujah. And on this week, oh God, we declare and decree that we will listen to what the Lord has to say. We will listen, oh God, as you guide us, as you direct us, oh God, as you order our steps according to your word, God, as you are the light unto our path. We will listen, oh God, when you tell us that we're we're not going to see it. Hallelujah, because faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. So, God, we thank you that it doesn't surprise us, hallelujah, that we don't see it. We thank you, oh God, that it doesn't surprise us, oh God, hallelujah, if it looks like the devil is just running rampant. Hallelujah, it doesn't surprise us, oh God, hallelujah, when it looks like that we are defeated, hallelujah, because your word says that we'll not see it. We won't see the wind, we won't see the rain, we won't see the abundance, hallelujah, of your blessings. They're just going to come in the name of Jesus. For your word says, oh God, yet the valley will be filled with water, hallelujah. Every low place in the name of Jesus, I declare and decree it over these airways that every low place, every drought, hallelujah, will be filled with water in the name of Jesus until it's overflowed, hallelujah, so there's more than enough joy, so there's more than enough peace. So there's more than enough love. Hallelujah. So there's more than enough gentleness. So there's more than enough patience and kindness, oh God. Fill us up, God. Fill the valley up until it overflows in the name of Jesus. And, oh God, we thank you. Hallelujah. That when it overflows, oh God, we going to drink. Our children going to drink. Everything that belongs to us is going to drink. Hallelujah. Our spouse. Our friends, our loved ones, and other animals, all of those connected to us, oh God, <coughs> are going to drink. Hallelujah. And that symbolizes that there is more than enough. Hallelujah. That symbolizes, oh God, that there is more than enough that you desire to do in us and through us. In the name of Jesus. And, oh, God, we thank you that this is an easy thing for you. We thank you, God, hallelujah, that because we're your children, you don't have to think about it. We thank you, oh, God, because we're your children, hallelujah, you don't have to to, to, to try to guess what we need, oh, God, oh, God, because your word said that you knew what we needed, hallelujah, before we even asked for it. Oh, God, we thank you for the overflow in the valley. We thank you, God, for the more than enough for our everybody connected to us, oh, God, through blood and just by by spirit in the name of Jesus. And, God, we thank you that even in the easy thing. You will deliver our enemy into our hands. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, that there is deliverance on every side. We thank you, God, that there is peace on every side. We thank you, God, that the spirit of overflow in every dry place, in every low place, and every dark place, oh God, will be filled. Hallelujah. Till it can't be filled anymore, and there will be more than enough. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen, hallelujah. And I want to encourage somebody on today. I really believe that this is a word from the Lord. I know that it is a word from the Lord. I um, stumbled across it because of a dream that I had. And I will tell you that this word is rich, y'all. It's rich, it's rich, it's rich, it's rich. This few little verses is so packed with what God desires to do. And I'm so thankful that we have a father, hallelujah, that has us so much on our mind that he leads us and directs us and takes us to scripture, to the living word that we know, that we know, that we know, that we know that he is mindful of us. I love you all. Have an awesome weekend. I know it's Thanksgiving, but every day, is a day of thanksgiving every day we ought to count our blessings every day we ought to say thank you god forget about what you don't have forget about what you don't have and thank god for what you do have thank god for what is left i love you all have an awesome day bye-bye